there is stigma attached to PTSD. Not everyone is as accepting or empathetic about the condition itself. They say, well, my grandfather made it okay. I made it okay. My, my brother made it okay. What is your problem? Um, there's stigma that um, is attached to families and to friendships and to work situations. So this kind of treatment is a very private process. And most veterans would prefer to keep it that way. I am an anomaly. I have been a public figure for 40 some years. People see my face on a TV screen or a movie screen every day. So I'm out. Uh, and um, it just made sense to me to be willing to say, look, I have a problem. I've had a problem for some years. I got my life back because I got some help that I desperately needed. And I'm grateful for that. Uh, I encourage you to take that shot. Um, those 22 suicides or however many there are, and let's remember there are a lot of ways to kill yourself, self-destructive behavior, substance abuse, medication. Um, there are a lot of ways to hurt yourself when you don't feel good about yourself. But I am a firm advocate and proponent of being proactive and getting treatment, talking to someone. There are veterans groups that you can hopefully feel safe among them. One of the major problems in the VA is a lack of privacy with their treatment. That means it's going on a record. Now, in some cases, if you're looking for disability, then you're going to have to go through that system. But we have people coming home these days, and I'm hearing 25 to 35 percent of them are acknowledging and out processing. I got a problem. I need to talk to somebody. These are people willing to admit it. I mean, the the the, the iceberg effect is you've got maybe you know one seventh of it above ground saying, "Yeah, I'm troubled," and the other six or sevenths, um, many of them are in denial. Um, they just would rather forget about it. Um, they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to revisit it. They just want to go home and get back to normal. And good luck with that.